U.S. Attorney General William Barr, he really went after Hollywood studios and Hollywood celebrities today. He's blasting Hollywood, saying, listen, Hollywood, you regularly attack and lecture Americans as bad, but then you turn around and appease China by censoring and editing your movies to make China happy. Why? Because China is the second biggest market for movies in the world. This is all going on, Hollywood's double standard, Hollywood hypocrisy, as communist China runs prison camps, arrests and imprisons human rights and political dissidents. Watch A.G. Barr here. Every year at the Academy Awards, Americans are lectured about how this country falls short of Hollywood's ideals of social justice. But Hollywood now regularly censors its own movies to appease the Chinese Communist Party, the world's most powerful violator of human rights. Let's welcome State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortega. It's great to have you on the show, Morgan. What is Hollywood you, standard here? What is your what was your reaction? What was your reaction to AG Barr in Hollywood here? Yeah, the attorney general was spot on. This is uh, the third series and uh, the third speech, excuse me, in a series of speeches that the Trump administration is making uh, about uh, with the purpose, the goal of waking the American people up, waking the world up to the threats uh, posed by the Chinese Communist Party. Started with Robert O'Brien, national security advisor, about a month ago. We, of course, had FBI Director Ray. Now you see Attorney General Barr. Secretary Pompeo will eventually also give a speech on China. And you see that the administration is focusing on the threat from the Chinese Communist Party. At the State Department, we have been incredibly focused on bringing these human rights abuses in Xinjiang, China, uh, uh, to the world, to make sure that people realize that there are over one million Muslims that we know of, uh, Uyghurs and other ethnic minorities in China, that are imprisoned simply for the crime of being of the Muslim faith. Uh, and we recently have reports from a German researcher uh, that women in these camps are under or ordered to undergo forced abortions and forced sterilization. We have seen uh, some companies um, reportedly being involved in uh, human hair, you know, uh, that what some women use, you know, to create extensions or wigs or something like that, that, that some of this human care, hair may have come from this forced labor camps. So Undersecretary Keith Kroc at the State Department has issued a warning to American businesses to make sure that you are not involved in these forced labor camps in China. So American business, American Hollywood, Hollywood, uh, the American uh, public uh, and our elite especially need to wake up to these gross human rights abuses that we're seeing in Xinjiang, China. Some of the worst things we've seen, Liz, since World War II. You know, Morgan, A.G. Barr is pointing out that here in the United States, Hollywood lives in a bubble. Hollywood celebrities live in a bubble. They, the uh, Hollywood, uh, the Oscar ratings are dropping. They've been plummeting like a rock because mm -hmm. Americans don't want to be lectured to by, by Hollywood. And now this double standard with their, we just showed uh, the movies. It's Mission Impossible. It's Batman. Mm -hmm. It's Wonder Woman. Those movies are financed by companies inside China. So China, A.G. Barrett Morgan says that China gets a big propaganda coup a big propaganda win, China can go around to its officials inside its own country and say, look, Hollywood is on our side, while they're running prison camps, while they're doing, mm -hmm. as you point out, forced abortions, while they're torturing prisoners, political dissidents as well. What's going That's on right. with Hollywood here? When is Hollywood going to wake up and take accountability for their double standard? And what's especially troubling, you know, Liz, is, is not just necessarily the money that's coming in from Chinese investors for a movie. Uh, what's troubling is when that money then leads to uh, the censorship uh, of a movie uh, and censorship uh, of some sort of speech or something, you know, may not even be visible to the American people. But when you can allow the Chinese Communist Party uh, to, to edit or have some sorts of rights over the final cut of a movie that the American people are going to see, one has to really question, look what happened happened with the NBA, for example, whenever players uh, were tweeting out in support of a free Hong Kong. You can put anything reportedly that you want on an NBA jersey, but you can't put free Hong Kong. And of course, in Hong Kong, we have seen the Chinese Communist Party come in to erode freedom, to erode autonomy, to erode democracy. Um, this is this stuff is real. Uh, this is a, a pattern of behavior that we have seen from the Chinese Communist Party, and this administration is exposing it. Okay, Morgan Ortega, it's great to have you on, my friend. Come Thank back you, soon, Liz. Okay? Absolutely.